uh welcome back to the pg talk guys oh, this is our t- 12th episode yep. so this is three months of straight recording um but before we get into episode we have obviously a guest a childhood friend still friend um alex um at, we're about to take a celebratory shot and then i'll let him in- kind of introduce himself cheers boys cheers uh, ooh, uh. All right. My name yeah. is Alex, and I <laughs> <laughs> beep 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 beep. <laughs> no, no, no. no, bro. Honestly, I didn't expect that to be sweet. Oh, God. I didn't wasn't expecting that to be sweet either. <laughs> yeah, I, it's orange flavored. I probably should have told you that. That would have been All nice. Right. So, um, I don't know. I don't want to introduce myself. People just know who I am. <laughs> if people are watching this, they know who I am. <laughs> yeah, basically, but- this whole time, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I do that with the with the with the uh, Los Bres channel. I'm just like, all right, we got Caesar, da da da, and me. You know who I am. Okay. What were we talking about before? Um, one thing that that was coming up, you because we were talking about um a friend, and you pointed at me, and you're like, hold on, he's like, you're like enough about me, and then you pointed at me. Oh no, I was so uh no internal monologue. Oh yes, about right. um uh NPCs. NPCs. In IRL. Yeah. So basically, with that topic, so I'm not sure if everybody watching has this, but me, Pablo, do you have it? Yeah. I- yeah. So you always hear somebody in in your head talking, like your your inner voice. Apparently, some people don't have that, and we were yeah. discussing that the people that don't have that are the world's NPCs. Like they don't think because, like, how can they think? Like you have to have like pre pre like cautions of yeah, what yeah. you want to do. Yeah, yeah, just like thoughts running through your head. And if you, whoever's watching doesn't know what an NPC is, it stands for non-playable character. It's pretty much like when you're running around in a um, RPG game where you're uh, getting tasks or whatever, they're the people that aren't the main character. Just somebody who you go and has like a preset dialogue that you kind of click through to get to the next part. Yeah, so like people that... They're, they're, I, hate to, I hate using the term sheep. But they're kind of sheep because <laughs> they don't they don't have the inner voice in them. And uh, I was talking, I was, I'm trying to remember why I brought it up. But like, uh, hi baby, hi guys. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so pretty much, um, we find it really weird that there's some people that literally have no internal monologue. They just go throughout the day, and when they're not talking, there's like no voice in their head like a like narrating them dude i'm so nervous you know my I mean? brain is going blank right now you what <laughs> i'm so nervous <laughs> it's, it's different huh it's been a while since yeah. i've been on camera so i'm just kind of like yeah uh, I, uh, well my, my, my personality is very like i sit back and i just observe i don't yeah I, yeah and, and because i'm not in my own well, channel and like where i because in my channel i ask the questions yeah i right, have the right. questions i know how to ask questions right, when, right. It, when you're like you're being talked to it's like I don't know. Are any of my thoughts original? Yeah. <laughs> what if my thoughts are not original? Yeah. yeah. But uh, you're just saying like, do I even know anything? What do I know? Yeah. I'm just a guy. Yeah. 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 Um, but uh, he has his own channel. Uh, we'll put it up, description, everything. Kind of. Um, Caesar, bitch. <laughs> Caesar's his. I guess you could call co-host producer. Yeah, he's the co- weird co-host. He's yeah. the he's the co-creator. We're both. Yeah. I'm about to, I'm about it's, to call him out right now. He deleted some of your guys' videos. Pretty sure he deleted your first video. He deleted the first one. Yeah. I uh, I actually, I hit him up and I was like, hey, man, you should probably delete that first video we made and a couple. And he's like, already did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, good, good, good. Well, he, told well, well, me, he told me when he deleted it, he's like, I'm going to wait till, wait how long it, Alex finds out or like ask me to delete it. But I'm pretty sure he, like, it was weeks that <laughs> yeah, he deleted I was it already. In, oh, we, we stopped, we stopped uploading because like we had... Also, another reason was we our ideas of content were different because mm-hmm. it was like okay, we play video games, but it's like. But you're like, I want to do something more. But we're grown ass men. <laughs> okay, I mean that's perfect. Grown ass men <laughs> videos, but it's I don't know. Dude, it, I I listen to a podcast called Taste Buds, and they literally talk about food. They argue food. Mm. Like one of them will be like Team Oreo, one of them will be like Team Team Chips Ahoy, and they make a living off of that. We, I guess we it's at the point where also our tasting games or excuse me, 
are maybe different. I don't know. Cause I, I feel like he's more of like, I don't know, maybe maybe it's you, but he likes playing really old games and like retro games. Like retro game-ish. Yeah. 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 It, it was kind of, we. it was weird because we were trying to meet in the middle and then he also started skating a lot because this mm-hmm. summer came up and during the pandemic and he's like, well, let's just go out. We couldn't meet. Yeah, so yeah. He, in, in order to pass the time, he just picked up skating again. And now he's like, really back yeah, into, really it. into it yeah because yeah, he is. dropped in uh, after high school for a bit yeah and uh no, i'm not into skating and he wants to make it it's it's we're in a what content do we want to make really right right and the content that i want to make was talking shit yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> not shit but just kind of like like just truth, expressing your truth, opinions like, like about just, what uh, you feel things i'm skeptical about yeah, <laughs> yeah but yeah. i know that uh teaser is not about that uh, like we were okay when they come over, they came over last weekend. It was Caesar Tony, mm. and we were talking about uh, the Ghislaine Maxwell. I brought it up. The yeah, yeah, you're Ghislaine, talking about the trial that's going on, and the, the trial is going on. And uh, you know, I, I start talking about it, and they're uh, Caesar and Tony's. They're just kind of like, yeah, but how does that affect me? <laughs> <laughs> you, they just like, yeah, why should that I sucks, care? That sucks and all, but like, I'm just a guy. I'm just like, dude. Like, how does that affect me? Right, right. And we're all like dying of laughter. We're, you know, laughing. But and in my back of my head, I'm like, yeah, but like, kind of enabling it. You kind of, you kind of like, cook, like, because you're not the only one that thinks like that. People, there's like it's sort of a collective unconsciousness where people are just kind of like that. We're just kind of like, well, how does that affect me? Right, right. And it's like, but I, I've recently come under the idea. I was like, no, no, no. If there's something wrong, we should maybe speak up about it. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe. Right, but at the same time, like, you should, but at the, like, also, like, why should they care? Yeah, you know? why should I, they? I'm I'm good about seeing both sides, and I definitely agree that, like, it should be like live streamed or like shown how uh, the Kyle Rittenhouse mm-hmm. stuff was. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, but a lot more people are like, like, why does it affect me? You know, yeah, yeah, it's but it's like okay, if we can talk about that Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> I don't know. I just came up with it. <laughs> I've already said his name. <laughs> Written mouth. I don't know. But we could talk about that dude for weeks. Like, can we talk about? I don't know. Maybe the uh, like the world, the global biggest. wide child sex trafficking. Yeah, that involves princes from England, and oh, I don't know. Well, not just that, but former presidents of the former United presidents. States. <laughs> you know, yeah. are we gonna talk about that. Yeah. I know it doesn't. I know I'm just a guy. And they're the type of people... And it doesn't really affect me, but it's like... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 They're the type of people who just be like, oh, but that's cool. I just, like, yeah, that has nothing to do with me. Yeah, there's a lo- actually, there's a lot of conversations where it comes down to it. Where it's just kind of like, okay, but why should I care? I'm just a guy. I'm just a dude. Right, but also at the same time, like, it's literally history happening yeah. before our eyes. So it's, it's fun to talk about and think about, like, the background scenes that are, like, what actually happened or what you think is going to happen. Yeah. I get, you know what I mean? I... All I know is that it's fucked up, and I think I don't. I think everyone should have their own ideas of things, but like, ah, it's tricky because you know, Caesar and Tony, they're free thinkers. That's their opinion, and I shouldn't enforce my I, my <laughs> thoughts on that. But at the same time, you want to hold on and like, be like, you should fuck care. <laughs> but you should care. But it's like, but they do be making it funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it's like, uh, but it's it's a balance. It's you, a balance. You need people yeah. to not take it as seriously as you do. Yeah, it's, it, you know what I mean. I, I, um, I, I've got I've got fucked up recently. Okay, please elaborate. So <laughs> like, uh, the whole. Oh, by the way, I think I might have ADHD. I could have told you that, bro. <laughs> 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 I didn't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, this is an intervention. Actually, <laughs> talk about your ADHD. I, I actually, I think, uh, I think it, it wasn't until I got married that like Kayla brought it up to me. Bro, have you seen the way you hold a fork? Like, come on. <laughs> 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 Sorry, <you're> just. <laughs> I, I got, I'd just be having like, like thoughts. I'd be like a squirrel. I'll be like, I'll be, uh, and then I'll be like, what, 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 what about this? <laughs> but like, uh, okay, so. Something that messed up with me recently was like I saw a video on Reddit and it was some guy who like it was like a car accident and a motorcycle accident and like this dude got like cut up and you could see his guts and stuff and I saw another video where this guy had like his arm chopped off and he, after the accident he was just kind of wandering around 
And, like, this guy walking up to him, like, filming him, like, dude, you know, your arm. And he's just kind of, like, looking around and stuff. And I'm just, yeah. and, like, that messed with me. That's messed with me because, like, what am I talking about? Maybe you should have Bro, what are So, like, I exhibit it. Dude, that shot, I'm not like, wait, I have a drink. I don't drink. Kind of. Um, I don't know, it's like, the, you guys, remember, you know, mom? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on, you right, get this we're, bro. We're Catholic, right? We're Catholic, right? Uh-huh. And you know how they say that the body is like, like, mm. we're holy, our body is holy, mm-hmm. and there's like a holiness to our body because we're made in the image of God, First right? Name, yeah. Um, it, there's this sort of, since the Renaissance, there's this sort of idea that we're, we're, we're there's a sanctity to us because mm-hmm. we're made in the image of God. But when I saw that video, I got messed up because it was like, bro, well, we're really just flesh and blood. Yeah, dude. We're just really that. Yeah, like how you... And that messed with me. Because I'm like, I thought we were supposed to be a little bit holy, bro. I thought we were supposed to be, like, a little bit special. But it's like, no. And then recently, like, people people die. And it's just kind of <laughs> like, oh, wow. We're nothing. We're just body. We're legit just flesh and body. Yeah, well, uh, the way Jordan puts it is just a bag of meat. And that messes with me because I don't yeah. like that. Yeah. I don't like that. Because, like, think about how tough people can be and how resilient... But at the same time, like, how many viruses are, are out there that don't kill you, that should be killing you just from second to second? Yeah. Or, like, literally, if you just, like, if you were to jump off, and we're on the second floor, if you were to just jump off, you'd break your fucking legs just from the second floor. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it, but the whole, like, well, we're just, I don't like that nihilistic things, we're looking at things, well, we're mm. just a body of flesh in a, in, in, in a rock in space. Where nothing really means nothing. Uh, anything doesn't mean anything. We're just it, that nihilistic. I feel like you wouldn't be good at like taking that. any kind of psychedelics, and huh? I feel like you wouldn't be good at taking any kind of psychedelics, then. Well, I haven't been the same since I took acid. <laughs> oh. oh, so that's kind of what. I don't know. Like, I don't know, but like I like uh, I really like, actually I talked to to Kel about that too. But like I feel like since that trip, I did I did I really did come back to like. About yeah guys. yeah I'm just kind of like hmm but I I, I don't know because I I maybe, have you seen the group chat like I've been sharing a lot like P- Caesar saying sound like some evangelical now some Christian guy <laughs> like, I, I think I saw that you sent it about like Jesus I sent like, Christian stuff like yeah. Jesus stuff and it's just like uh like I've sort of had this 180 from high school the whole like maybe I'm I'm an atheist. <laughs> Maybe I'm, uh, you know. And, and now you're like, oh, and, like I'm I was like, I have that mentality where I'm just like, you know, maybe we're just, we really, things really don't matter. You know? Right. We're, like, but I feel like if you take that mentality and use it for something good, as far, instead of just kind of sitting there and kind of being like, nothing matters, so why am I going to do shit? Well, you know the, what I mean? but I think overall, my holistic thoughts are just maybe dangerous for someone. Like, it's not, it's oh, not, yeah, it's definitely. harmful. It's harmful to have that sort of mentality. So, I think uh, I've sort of had this sort of 180 where it's just like, okay, that is the reality. Yes, we are in space floating in an endless void of nothingness. Right, but right. But it's like... But at the same time, it does matter because at the end of the day, you're living your life. Whatever you think about the afterlife or for simulation, whatever conspiracy you have yeah. about it, at the end of the day, your, your day-to-day stuff does matter. Yeah. Because you know? it affects how you feel. You have legit feelings. Yeah. I, I just... I get that point, that specific point where just things don't really matter and it's like, it's like sort of pity. It's like, it's like, I, realize, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. I don't mm-hmm. like that. <laughs> Why are you thinking like that? And I realized, I think, because uh, uh, Kayla's brother is uh, this Christian guy. and But he's like, he's like, he's an intellectual. I can't keep up with this guy. I just be like, well, I, I'll be yeah, I don't want to talk to this guy. But like, uh, he's, really, he's a Christian guy. So I, I when I first met him, it was interesting because here's this guy who is this super, he's not a fundamentalist or like a rationist. He's like a liberal Christian dude. Like he's, he's, he's a reasonable guy. And I remember like meeting with him and just having questions, just talking to him. 
And then he, he, he like, he sort of reignited that maybe, because if I believe in demons, because if I'm all skeptical about the Ouija board, if I'm all skeptical about certain things that were demons and stuff, why can't I believe that th there is a guy? Yeah, a good side to it. A it's that, side. um, like the yin and yang stuff. Yeah, and if, it, w like, if I believe that going to the cemetery at 3 a.m. with a Ouija board is nothing but bad juju. Is bad juju. Why can't you believe the opposite? Why can't right. I believe the opposite? Right. Exactly. And so he, he, uh, uh, Kayla's brother really like made me start thinking about it like that. Um, so I, I don't know. I've just been thinking about that. Why are you guys? Yeah. I feel like I'm just rambling, man. Talk no, to me. Talk to me man. Bro, whatever happens, happens. But I did want to mention, and I wrote it down, um, cause I heard about it a, like a while ago and I recently started listening to Joe Rogan again. I took like a couple months off from listening to him, but, uh, he brought it up in a recent podcast talking about, um, this book called The Sacred Mushroom and the Cross. Okay. Have you heard about it? No. Okay. So the whole concept of it is that that people would take these mushrooms, right? And that would kind of be like a damn, I'm gonna do it such a disservice because I have a bad like um uh, what's it called? Like I have trouble retaining information. And the whole point of it is that people took mushrooms and they had all these trips and stuff and they saw like uh, this higher being and like way of being and stuff like that. Oh, and they had these, yeah. um, they had these uh fertility issues with people, right? Uh -huh. Because back then, like you live into like what like twenties, thirties, and then you would die off because of random diseases or whatever. Like if you back then, if you messed up your arm, bro, good luck. You know what I mean? There's no surgery, nothing that can fix it. So they had these fertility rituals where where you would purposefully like mate to make more babies, more humans, keep the race going, right? So that's why in Christianity, there's a thing where like they're against homosexuals because if you're homosexual, you're not oh, making you're not. babies. You're making babies. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So there's this whole conspiracy theory or this whole theory that, and the book goes into it and it's like the guy who wrote it was like a, a pastor or uh, some kind of like religious leader some, okay. and through his studies and stuff and like uh, learning about mushrooms, this is now he, he kind of connected it and I think now he's agnostic. Agnostic. Right. Mm. So, and, and he talks about how, like, linking the birth of Christianity to just mushroom trips. And stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I can actually, I, it sounds it's kind of familiar to what I haven't, there's this audiobook, I can't remember the name of it, but it is, it does talk about how in Christianity it said that the drink, what, I forgot, the, what's the name of the drink? The, the blood of Christ? The blood of Christ. Well, but the action of it. When you go communion, the communion that it said that the communion early on, it said that they, that was actually uh, mushrooms or part cosmogenic. Mm. And this guy goes and like, this whole audio book about it. And goes and dives into how possibly um, in earlier um, gatherings in Christianity and whatnot during the communion that they would use cosmogenics to be with God, to be one with God. See, yeah, and, so, and um, like, I think in that book, they talk about how um, there is a God and the way to him is through psychedelics. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, like that's yeah. literally the gateway to see God, but God exists and stuff. And if you want to see him, it's like, it's it's through DMT or through mushroom trips. Because when you die, your brain releases a bunch of DMT yeah. and you, you basically have a psychedelic trip right before you die. To prevent you, it's your body's like self defense mechanism to prevent pain. Yeah. And like yeah. suffering as literally at the moments before you pass. Yeah, the people said that the, when they take the MT, it's, um, or people who have had near death experiences, it's the equivalent to having a DMT trip. Yeah. And yeah, but, but, but it's like, what is that really? Is that is that really you meeting kind of like a god, or is that sort of the body coping with death? It's sort okay, of a way of easing if, your if way out. multiple people have relatively the same trip or the same stuff they see on a trip, where do you think there's a meaning behind it? Well, to play devil's advocate, how do we not know that's just not some evolutionary trait that humans well, have? That just be like a neurological like issue. With... I don't know, but like that's that's what makes it fun, right? Because it's like <laughs> yeah, it, well, yeah, exactly. And that's what makes it fun to talk about. Like, what if this or what if that? Like. Yeah. There's obviously some kind of connection. Something's there. yeah. What we do know is that DMT exists, and DMT is fun. DMT. I wouldn't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't know if I if I do had to come back soon. <laughs> no, when I was in the Marines and OK, somebody came up to me and told me he's like, you know, you'd be a good, uh, you'd be good uh, for acid, like mm-hmm. yeah. And this mm-hmm. guy had taken yeah. acid before multiple times, and like through like the year or two of knowing each other, one day he just kind of came up to me and was like, you know, bro, he's like, you should really take some acid sometime. <laughs> I was like, All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I think uh, yeah I I think we're finally living in an era where. The, Hallucinogenics are not uh, stigmatized. I think when we're older, they'll be I w- maybe not like fully legal, but at least more like yeah acceptable. Yeah. Because I mean, marijuana and CBD and all that stuff is coming. It's getting it's more legalized. Right. It's supposed so. to, and that's what's interesting, right? Because we know that humanity has used the hallucinogenics for thousands of years for medical purposes. It yeah, wasn't until yeah. the governments. Until the government has got involved and they start yeah. taking it away from the people. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why exactly. did they take it away from the people? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, and it's like, why are you hiding? <laughs> why are you taking it away from the people? What's it? And like marijuana, you know, everyone has a story about how ooh, ooh, oh. the Mexicans and stuff. And it's like, but it's like, no, 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 no. There's something much more deeper going on. And this is when you get conspiratorial, but it's like. I do, in my opinion, think that the government took it away to sort of Have disconnect control. people from this, uh, the connection, their connection to some, this, the other, the something else, and it sort of it make the people more sheep-like or whatever, and kind of enslave them and make them materialistic and stuff. And it's all, it's all part of that uh, plan. And part of the plan was taking natural medicines. Right? Uh, don't get me like that. What? Dude, yeah. I, dude, I, I, no, I was fun, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a podcast with two me and you. <laughs> I don't know any of, like, I don't know much about that. So I'm literally just sitting here like, oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, it's because at work, I'll be, um, I just, because uh, I work weekends, uh, 12-hour shifts, you know, and at a warehouse. So um, I have all this time to think, you know, because I'm on order picker thinking or, like, working and stuff, mostly by myself. And these are the thoughts that I have. I, you know? I, um, when I'm at work, because I don't work, guys, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I have my headphones on, and but this is, I guess, this is my, my channel thing. But, uh, it's a great inside joke. <laughs> all right, bro, uh, come I, on. I have, headphones, I have my headphones all the time, and I have to listen to audiobooks because I can't be with my thoughts alone. Because I, mm. I have to constantly like be listening, and I always and I bring it up because like I'm listening to stuff like that too. Yeah. And well, I I thought about um because I'm really bad about just sitting down and reading. Yeah. But every I'm always on the podcast. I honestly rarely ever listen to music now. It's mm. always a podcast. Yeah. Whether it be pure comedy or something informative or something more thought provoking. Oh, like you know that. what you would yeah. like? Do you listen to comedy? Yeah. Uh, La Cotorisa. Zero okay. Spotify. Okay. Oh, dude. That it's in Spanish. Can you spell that for me? I don't know. Which I don't know how you do, like especially when working out, I cannot listen to anything but music while working out. No. Bro, when I was in Oki, um, in, in Japan, I would only listen to podcasts while I work out. And it'd be all like like self help, like how to be a better person and stuff like that. But I like that. Yeah. I like it. Was, <laughs> yeah, it was it was it's fun because you're working out and it's like you're learning at the same time. Yeah. You know, it's it's very weird to get used to at first, but once you get used to it. Like, it's just, you're working out, you know, you're doing the thing, and at the same time, your brain's thinking about how to be better here, or just provoking more thoughts. What I do is, I listen to podcasts when I'm doing my warm-ups, my stretching, I will be listening, like, I'll be listening to podcasts. But once, like, if I really want to get intense, I'll pull up Super Saiyan 2, Gohan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> yes! <laughs> like, fighting set up? <laughs> yeah. Bro, there's my favorite. Favorite. He was there. I got at the Y. Uh, I think we, we were talking we were squatting, I was teaching him how to squat properly, probably, and he, I, squat. I think he was doing 185, or honestly, I think he was going for a 225, and he, his form was really good, so I'm like, all right, go ahead, and try 225, and then he, he showed me his his phone, it was YouTube, of like, Gohan, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was, it was, Gohan going Super Saiyan 2 soundtrack, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you guys listen to podcasts while working out. As soon as I hit the gym, I put my workout playlist in. It's like yeah, I skip through it, like depending on how my workout is going. If I'm if it's going really hard, heavy rock. Yeah, <laughs> heavy yeah. Rock. What yeah. do you listen to? Um, there's this band called 
Our Last Night? What's it called then? Yeah, so it's called Our Last Night. They basically make remakes of regular songs. Like, oh, nice. you know Driving License from Olivia Rodrigo? Nope. Oh, wait, yes, I do. Dude, they make that into like super hard rock. Rock? That's nice. That's <laughs> yeah. That, that doesn't sound, I, don't, I can't imagine that song being like a rock song. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, but I'll, I'll show it to you after, but it's, right. it gets me pumped. So like, I literally listen to just, just workout or yeah. rock music like that when I work out. Yeah, which makes sense, like, especially if you're learning just like a PR, just like heavy stuff. Like, you need something to like get your adrenaline going. But, like, even you know when I mean? I'm just doing like a lot of reps, like nice chill workout, that's what I'm listening to. Do you know what I listen to as well? Right. I listen to movie soundtracks. Movie soundtracks? Like yeah, what? I listen to... Uh, I'll pull up Spider Man. I'll pull up the first Spider Man thing, bro. I'd be, I'd be like squatting, be like, fuck Spider Man. I'm gonna fuck Spider Man, bitch. You can see I try to climb the wall. I'll look at my fan and I'll be, I'll see the little claws and be like, fuck yeah. You look at the mirror, he's like, yeah. I'm at the gym, I'll be doing like, get on the ground, do the pose. Yeah, yeah. But I listen to movie soundtrack. I'll pull up the Rocky Four. Uh, oh, that's a good one, yeah. Rock, Rocky Four, specifically Rocky Four, because that one goes hard. Yeah, the Russian goes, dude. Yes, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. even listen to that. It's it goes hard. Yeah, dude, it'll get you he's going. He's in Russia and shit, and he's like, yeah. he's like, he's like, uh, he's there with his wife, and he's there with his trainers, and he's like, ah, it's so I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially if you watch the scene and like know like his his story. And as you listen to it, you kind of put himself in, in your yeah, 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 shoes. Yeah, yeah, Like the scene, like uh, like there's a, like a particular scene, you know, is coming up. Like there's this one scene. Have you seen the movie? Dude, on, yeah, but it's like. Well, so... there's this one scene where he's like he's he's in the like a uh, like a cabin, a, a barn or whatever, mm -hmm. and he's like uh, lifting up like a sack of rocks, and, yeah, yeah. and his wife is like looking at him like like nodding whatever. Yeah. But at, right at that point, it's like he's like. You can hear him grunting. I no, and I listen. I don't just listen to the sound. I listen to the actual clip. Yeah, the yeah, actual yeah. <laughs> clip of him working out. I hear him like grunting, pulling that. on, like, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, Oblivion. You guys watch that movie? No. Tom Cruise. No, Oblivion. No, what's it about? Is it space related? It's kind of sci-fi. Yeah, mm. sci-fi. Uh, space related. Um, speaking speaking of movies, Caesar Tony and I watch a movie every weekend and it's the best thing ever oh for real it's the best okay, thing so ever we hang out every weekend we, every watch, we hang out every weekend and it's the best literally Saturdays are for the boys Saturdays are for the boys <laughs> like they come over and it's the same routine same routine 8 o'clock whatever let's go out to eat let's go out to eat and we'll go out to eat and we'll come back to my place and we'll pull up uh, YouTube on my you see my setup yeah yeah and we'll pull up songs that we discover that week and dude, that's like, dope. like a recap of the week or like a recap of the week and we'll all play like songs that we like dude i i love it because like my my taste in music is so wide but it's like having three other brains to like go out and search for good songs and they that, come back that and also me. those other brains also have a wide variety that also music. have a wide variety. yeah yeah because yeah. Caesar listens to everything too yeah. and so, so, did, so, so does Tony. Tony. and so it's like they go out find these great songs and then they come back right now the right now the the, the wave is uh what is it? It's like dark. What is it? Dark wave goth music. Dark wave. Goth <laughs> it's like new wave, dark goth, whatever. And it's like it's good. It's really good. It's a gothic, but it's like it's really good. Huh. Um, and then we'll be like, all right, that's enough. And then we'll pull up a mo uh, movie, and uh, we'll pull up some like classic. We watched uh, last three Racers Head and some old white, black and white movie, whatever. So we're cultured. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we yeah. watch like. Uh, movies every weekend and it's the best thing ever. I think you guys should do it too. I want to spread that because it's yeah. before you have well, babies we... and stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, which... Leave, leave it to the married couples. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what? Like, like, I look at like Daniel, I'm just like, man, he has a baby. We don't even see him anymore. And yeah, like, dude. I don't want that. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that. So you got any more advice since he's about to get married and I'm married, you're married? You got anything, anything else like that? Out of what? Just kind of like random stuff like it's that. It's literally just like that. It's like they, it's like it's like when you, uh, you've been with your couples like forever, but it's like you wake up and you're like, oh, I have a girlfriend. But it's, <laughs> but it's like, but it's like, and he's just going through that right now because you wake up and he'll be like, I have a girlfriend. And, and, I right, know his, right. and I know his girl is going through that too because he told me about it. Like, you wake up and he's like, oh, I forget, almost forgot. I have a boyfriend. Yeah. And it's like, same shit. It's like, I wake up and be like, 
all there. And that's it. You keep doing whatever you're doing. Just don't be like, I don't have time for my friends. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah. Give me your phone. How much time do you spend on Facebook? A lot. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for that. It's like, no, you, yeah. yes, you do. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, which I'm, I'm bad at too. Just, well, also, we live between him and I, it's like a 35 minute drive. Yeah. And then up to Lafayette, it's an hour drive. <laughs> you know Lafayette, what I mean? Yeah, 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 dude. <laughs> it's fun, bro. <laughs> Well, shit, if I, if, uh, I don't know about the house market, but I was going to say, if, if I get a house, house, have you guys all come over, you know what I mean? I think you should buy a house as soon as possible. But why? Why? Because people, uh, what are you waiting for? A crash? It's not going to happen anytime soon. People say it does. It never does. Well, right, but, but in between then, I don't have plans to like, like settle down, so to say. So anyway. buy a, a, how, how about I phrase it like this? Buy a house as soon as you're convenient. As soon as, as you convenient. So right, because I mean, I could always like turn around and, and uh, like r- r- rent it to somebody else and still make some kind of money out of it. Which I saw that. a clip about that uh, that you posted. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. House, uh, house hacking. A yeah. uh, house hacking. Yeah, but what he's saying is basically like, don't wait for like the perfect moment. Obviously, that's not going to be perfect. That's what I'm trying right, to say. Right, right. It's like, like having kids. It's like people talking really about the stock market and be like, it's going to crash. It's going to crash. It's yeah, not yeah. gonna crash anytime soon. Yeah. And it's like But how do you know that? Because everyone right. says that. Everyone says it's gonna crash. It's gonna crash. It's gonna crash. Right, right. And next thing you know, Bitcoin is fifty thousand dollars and you you and you got left out because you were waiting for the crash. And right. never did. Right. And it hit it's, meanwhile it's hitting all time highs. And and you're waiting for the crash and you really think the government's gonna let it crash? You yeah. really you since two thousand eight you think the the government, the US global powerhouse is gonna let their dollar crash it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen yeah <laughs> it's not gonna happen anytime soon what they're gonna do is gonna devalue the value of the dollar because right. they because they want they want to go uh centralize uh, they want to go through their centralized crypto coin that's right. what they want to do they're gonna devalue the coin they're not gonna crash the market right right the market will continue but now it'll like they're just switch. gonna devalue the dollar that's what's gonna yeah, happen yeah. straight up so it's like i'm just gonna wait until the crap until the, the house market crashes it's not gonna crash and the longer you wait you know, lose out on buying a somewhat affordable house. Time mm-hmm. anything would just be a really bad idea. Like trying to t- time the house market, time like, for yeah. example, right now, used cars are really good to uh, buy because they're cheap, but yeah. it really sucks to sell because you're not getting that much. Like if you were to wait to sell a used car, like maybe, maybe you could because you'd have a car, a newer car to use while that used car just sits in your garage until you can sell it. But if you have a used car to sell, like right now. Oh yeah, right now it's the perfect because of the chip chip shortage, right? Yeah. 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 Right now, like people are getting good luck for their uh, car, their used car that they wouldn't get previously. But it's like, oh, and then they could, you know, how the pandemic happened, and then like everyone was betting, let's go, the market's gonna go crap back down. And then the Federal Reserve was like, money machine go brr. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Up, I mean, pull up like not even like uh, like a Robin Hood or whatever. Yeah. And you look when the market happens, and then they start printing money, and it goes. Whoop, it goes right back up. And it goes back up. Yeah. Not, so it's like the government's not gonna let it crash. It's yeah. Like, I know that. It's like the same thing that was happening with uh, China. They're like uh, the the real estate market in China is gonna crash because of that. Uh, what was it? That real estate company or whatever. It's gonna it's gonna be a global effect. They're defaulting. It's not fake. Right. Well, speaking about that, are you really into cryptocurrencies? Yeah. Yeah. I like crypto. Yeah. Well, what do you what do you have? Right now? Yeah. I'm stupid. I'm gambling all on one coin. <laughs> <laughs> all on one coin? Yep. Bro, we said it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so do you it's, have, it's stupid. Don't do it. Do you have Bitcoin? Okay. Yeah. So if you knew it was stupid, why'd you do it? Intervention. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, well, because look, cause, well, 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 because geez, you always hear about diversifying your portfolio. So why are you gonna go okay. and just yeah? So that's what you hear. you hear. You hear. You hear. You <clears> hear. <throat> uh, diversify your portfolio. Uh, dollar average your investment. Right. Don't go all in. Right. Don't time the market. Right. Be off in the t- and you just said, I do what I want. <laughs> and I looked at that and I said, How about no? <laughs> no, no. I looked at that those, except for don't time the market. All I did was essentially I, I I am really confident in Cardano over the long run. I'm not expecting to get um, rich anytime soon. Right, right. What and is Cardano? What is Cardano? You want me to break down the technology? What do you mean? 
Uh, just a really brief description. Cardano is like, as, like like in a minute, like like. I mean, I'm sure it takes way longer. It takes way longer, but yeah. it's a decentralized. It's as decentralized as it gets. Okay. It's uh, the founder Charles Hopson, Hopkinson. I don't know how to say his last name. Charles, him and the dude that created Polkadot, and the mm. dude that created Ethereum mm. were all part of the. Uh, they were original founders of Ethereum. At some point along the way, they split up and they went and did their own projects. For, for I think Ethereum was more focused on being for profit, being right. for coverage, and he, Charles was more like, I have this other vision. So he went and started his own thing. And so knowing that how successful Ethereum has been, I'm looking at, okay, what's next? Because $50,000 Bitcoin, it's out of the range for the average guy. Right. Okay, Ethereum right now is, uh, I mean, it's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good investment, but it's also starting to get to the point where it's just like, man, $4,000 for one Ethereum, what's next? Right. So I'm looking at, uh, Cardano. Now, a lot of people don't like it because the carpet market cap is really high up. So it, me it means that it'll never reach $500 or $1,000. Right. Because there's just too many of them. Right. Um, but what I do know is that the founder has a legit... Uh, okay, so you know that there's a trifecta for crypto. There's how decentralized is it? Mm -hmm. What's the speed of it? And what's the security of it? How mm -hmm. secure is it? A lot of these cryptos that you hear about can only be, for the most part, two out of the three things. Cardano is decentralized. Oh, and how well does it ex um, how well does it grow? Because Ethereum doesn't right now. Have you sure? Have you heard about the gas fee on it? No. Mm -hmm. So, it's to make every time every transaction you make on Ethereum, there's a fee. And that fee right now in Ethereum is really high. They call them gas fees. Right. That's because Ethereum were just, they had this project, they had this idea, and they just launched it. And they're like, fuck it, we'll work on it as we go with the, with the coin. Cardano said, no, well, let's work, figure out how we're going to expand the network, expand the blockchain, and... We'll, we'll, we'll go it that way. They're taking their time. Right, right. Instead of just releasing it Instead and, of just and releasing figuring out the kinks it. as it goes. Like, with, with that, you know, you said that you they have a really high market cap. So you know that, you know you said you know for a fact they're not going to go up to like $500 yeah. or something. Do you have an exit strategy of like a point where it's going to be? I don't have, I don't, I don't have an, I'd like it for it to reach to like a, a trillion dollar valuation. Like, eventually, like Bitcoin. I don't think it will. I don't know. I think it's one of those like I'll see as it goes for the time being, but like no more than fifty dollars. And that's and that's and this is from now until like a decade from now. Right now it's like at what? Three, right, three? right now it's falling. Right now it's really low. It's right now it's at a dollar and oh, thirty yeah. cents. Damn. So that's what I'm saying. Like it's the next one in the market. You look at that. You're looking at that, and you're going, okay. It's still some. It's really early on. It's not growing super fast. One dollar thirty. If I double my money, that's two dollars sixty, and I double my money. Right. So I said, you know, and two dollars sixty, dollar thirty, another. If it depends when you invest. Um, if it goes up to like five dollars, six dollars, you already tripled your money right there. I'm looking at this ten years from now. In my ten x in ten years, maybe more, maybe less. But I know that the the program, the project is still early enough to. Uh, it's still too early enough in the timeline to, I know it's gonna, you know it's gonna grow, because so, the people that back it up, the mathematicians, the people, the founders, it's a legit project. Well, with that being said, like you're looking at it long term. Yeah. Um, why, why don't you think it's a good idea to just put some money into Bitcoin? That's what I'm starting to do now. Um, I, the way I looked at it is, I want to get as much money as I humanly can right now, early on. In, in Cardano, and just have and have it, and just like sort of like mark my spot, like okay, I got in early, and then just forget about it and stop investing, and now diversify and go look at other things, cause that, cause I felt really confident about Cardano. Okay, I, I don't know. Yeah, cause personally, I have I have Cardano, but I also have uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin and Ethereum are my main ones, yeah. just because um, the podcasts that I listen, to, people that I watch, and everything, and my research that I've done, it's smarter to do so your crypto investing 
to have like 80% Bitcoin in Cardano and then that other 20% like other other coins that you want to do. Right. Because Bitcoin and Cardano, or sorry, Bitcoin and Ethereum are like the two big stable coins. And that's solid advice, right? Because like the reason I even got into crypto initially is because I had a lot of money sitting in my bank and I was just kind of like, why am I having this money sit here when I can have it do something else? Right, like a 0.07% interest in a bank. It's like, why not? Just yeah, put that's it in not there? anything. Uh, it's like, why not just put it in crypto and maybe have it grow more? Have you thought about right. staking your card on? Actually, yeah. Um, I'm working on that right now. It's like a this. Uh, yeah, I'm looking into it right now. Though. And like with with you like with all that money in your account, you ever think about like stocks or like index funds? Do it going into that? No, because I, I'm also banking on. See, one of the reasons that I didn't diversify is because I'm banking on the fact that I can pay my school with this, okay, and my house in 10 years from now. The plan is, hopefully, is right now go to school because I'm going back to school, get my second uh, degree, do payments on that, maybe go a little bit in debt. Um, make payments on school, maybe a house or whatever, mm-hmm. and then maybe go a little bit in debt with that while I let my money over here grow so that then I can just pay off uh, my other debt. Mm-hmm. Um, right. It's, I got this plan that's kind of complicated. I don't want to go into it. Oh, yeah, of course. But um, anyway, the government kills babies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, I want to go back. I want to go back to the to the Ghislaine Maxwell thing then. Okay. Or unless you have you have other stuff that you know. Um, hold on. Um, nothing like that. But uh, you mentioned earlier when we were talking about like uh, like listening to stuff while working out. Um, I know you, for a little bit you weren't like doing like boxing training. Oh yeah. Are you still doing that, or as far as like like so you still thing? working out and stuff like that? Like if I'm like fighting or if I'm training. You just. You're training, like if you're still working out and how you go about training. Like if you if you mean if I still hit the bag, I'll still hit the bag, but I don't know. Right, right, but you're not actively training to, to like have your next fight in like a couple no. weeks. No. No. No, no. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I am just wondering because I, I know for a little bit you were going in ham with uh like working out and like going to the Y like I yeah, I, I literally worked out every day for like six seven, eight months or something yeah, yeah. every day. So like for, you, to, for the fight. Like, are you still going to the Y and working out? Oh, yeah, I still go in, like, I'll hit the bag or whatever. But, right. like, um, but uh, fight-wise, no, no. sir. <laughs> no, sir. No. Yeah. I realize it's not for me. Yeah. I I showed up at that fight. Did I ever tell you about it? Uh, no. No? I showed up. I showed up for my first amateur fight. By the way, my coach... He didn't show up. He I had to go with some different coach. Actually, I think you might have told me. Yeah. Yeah. And, but, so the coach, I figured out, I fi- recently found out that the coach that was training me for my fight uh, cheated on his wife, left his kids, and went off with his girlfriend in California. Jeez. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I had to go with uh, Robbie, who's a Lafayette guy. And he's, he was like an uh, actual fighter. Uh-huh. But uh, I went with him, but like, I don't know, I showed up on my first day of the fight. I was like, I saw the punches that were being thrown. I saw the, well, like the heavyweights of the amateur people being, like the punches. Yeah. Dude. I even saw, I saw the theme, like the females, the girls fights, the punches that were being yeah, thrown, yeah. the kids. Yeah. I saw that. I could, even you could hear it. Like you could hear the ba ba of like heads getting punched. I was kind of, I remember looking at that and being like, Care about the sport enough for this? <laughs> to lose brain cells for this. Yeah. I like the training. I like the I like the uh, the rigorous training that goes into it. Right. I, like, I, I like the I like the sparring. I like I like everything about it, except actually going to fight because it, it also you need like a certain mentality for it. Oh yeah, dude, you need that. You need to go in there and you need to look at the other guy like I'm gonna fucking murder you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Killer's mentality. I'm gonna yeah. kill you. Yeah. And uh, I realize like I'm not really like that. Right, right. I'm, I'm more of a, like, nah, I don't even really know this guy. Why would I really, really want to fuck him up? Yeah. Unless he, 
unless before the fight he was like you little pussy or whatever then i would have like all right now it's on whatever yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like the guy was like actually met, uh, ran into my opponent in the bathroom before the fight i didn't even know he was my opponent because it was sort of set up randomly or whatever oh. i knew his name but i i didn't know what he looked what he like. Looks like yeah so i ran actually in the, in the, in the bathroom or whatever i'm just uh we talked for a bit i don't know some, some guy who's a random conversation and it was a first fight, and yeah, it's first fight, whatever. Yeah. And, and then you left him, oh, he's like, yeah, he's he's cool. the best guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's exactly how I left. Because he was yeah. like this tall, a nerdy white guy looking guy or whatever. And then I saw him on the other side of the ring. And I saw the way he was switching stances to South Paul. And I was kind of like, wait, wait, this is amateur. Why is he switching stances <laughs> yeah. like that? Yeah. No amateur switches stances to yeah. South Paul. Then you can't just do that. Okay. And he was, and he, like it seemed like he took off his glasses and shit, and suddenly he had his hair slicked back. <laughs> and I could see him with his trainer pads and everything, and he was like, <laughs> I'm, I remember I looked at my cousin, I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh, You're like, I'm just trying not to die today. I, I, after I saw uh, like two like big black guy, heavyweight guys going at it, I think I, 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 my strategy then was like, okay. Survive the fight. Don't win. Just survive. <laughs> I got in the ring or whatever. I got footage of it too. Yeah. Still. And I just remember getting in the, in the ring and just like being like, objective, survive. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you, know yeah. you, you throw a punch. I just dodge or whatever. Yeah. And, just try not to get hit. Just try not to get hit. And uh, I lost the fight. But uh, I didn't get hurt. So yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I walked out of that like... I got my little tri- uh, participation th- trophy or whatever. I'm like, this will do. I did it. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, I was like, I got, I did something that no people, not even for amateur, but no people do. Yeah. So I did it. Wrong. I realized it wasn't for me. I kept training for a little bit, but then I was like, ah, I think I'm just now I'll start hitting the gym though. Right, right. Yeah. So right now you're just going to the gym. No, I just go to the gym and get um, ripped. Get these. Ripped. Yeah. I re- I didn't realize how strong I could be until I worked out with you. Dude, he's pretty strong. You under- underestimate him. So. I mean, you were talking about him squatting two twenty five, and yeah. like, I mean, that's 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 a good amount of weight. I wasn't gonna let him go that high, but his form was good. He was he was doing good. After after the, after you taught me how to lift weights properly, I'm like, now we're going with like forty forty fives. Okay. Now the problem is I'm not getting bigger, so it's that, my diet that, that goes. Yeah. Was so now yeah, yeah, yeah. you just have a high metabolism. Yeah. So I look at I look at myself. I'm like, okay, I'm strong, but. Why am I not getting ripped like Victor right now? Mm. Why am I not Victor Chad right now? Victor why, Chad. Why, why am I not? Why not? Why am I not a Sigma male right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like it's my diet. Yeah, I don't it, need enough. Well, because at that point you just really have to dig in into like your, your how many calories you're consuming yeah. and like your macros yeah. and stuff like that. Right. So if you're not into it, then who cares? It literally has to be your lifestyle to be. Like now, to me right now, it's just more of like, uh, okay, can I, how many pull ups can I do, and then I try to improve on it. And uh, trying to get a six pack or whatever. Just yeah. Kinda, can I run a mile? Okay, I can run a mile. Yeah. I, I want to ask you something. What's up? Do you see any aliens in the, in the military? No. You see I don't think you can answer that. <laughs> <laughs> no, trust me. I was, oh, like, I was <laughs> nowhere near close to that. Oh, you were? That's like. That's like thousands of well i'm just saying i just, I just know that like there's bases and stuff i miss the people that look like aliens some ugly <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like, how, how long was it going uh we're 51 you, you, you want to hit them with uh the new thing we talked about yeah yeah. you want to do that do okay but you, you, you want to explain it yeah so basically uh, uh, trying to do. the other day after Pablo and, or Pablo and i recorded our podcast we we're sitting down eating with gabby and we were just having some food and there's this uh thing that I think one of the podcasters he watched does yeah it's just like a what, what was it called a what it, it's what it, it's a podcast I mentioned earlier called taste buds where they okay. do like this versus that and what you do and they literally have a whole like hour episode and bro it's a good podcast it's kind of like I want to say it's not informational it's more for pure entertainment, entertainment purposes okay. but dude they go like they literally yell at each other and like over could like the preferences oh, I'm not of aggressive like that. Yeah, so that's <laughs> fun. So. No, no, but this isn't what we're about to do though. <laughs> uh, trying to incorporate like a last second into our podcast of us just doing this like uh lightning rounds of just saying like for example the first one would be like would you rather visit the doctor or visit the dentist? Okay, would you rather be um, Right, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah. So and, and like uh for now we're kinda doing like a like a quick app. But if, if you have one that comes up, like just one that you, you think off the top of your head that you think would be good, just go ahead and, and go for it. 
Yeah. So I'll go ahead and get started. Do, do we want to do it like I ask you and then ask him, or I'll just ask both of you? Uh, I think you just ask him. We just answer as we go. Would you rather have a partner who speaks not who speaks nonstop, <laughs> or have a partner who barely speaks? <laughs> Uh, I already kind of have one that's yeah. I already kind of have one that's nonstop. It's kind of nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because then otherwise it's just kind of like speak up, say something, tell me, tell me, don't suck a dick. I'd rather be like, yo, can you stop talking? <laughs> tell me, tell, look at me and tell me to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> tell me something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, would you rather? Well, hold well, on. You got to answer too, bro. Oh. Well, I mean, I have a partner that barely speaks. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it depends on the day. Sometimes she just never shuts up, which is totally fine. And then you're like, can you stop? <laughs> I'm like, trying to do something. Can you stop talking? <laughs> yeah. But most of the time, she doesn't talk. Yeah. But I feel also, like a quick thing on uh, you getting married, um, the woman is never right. So anything she says, just ignore it. Thank you. Got it. I Unless you're it. my wife. I, I, I tell you, you're wrong. You're wrong. I'm always right. Yeah. I'm always right. And honestly, you're probably all right. So, yeah. yeah. Honestly, you guys are always right. So, I'll take that into Matter of fact, women should have opinions. Yeah. Moving on, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather never be able to eat hot food again or never be able to have a sh- hot shower again? Like hot food as in like spiciness? Is it just as hot? Let's let's make it to where like the temperature hot. So you'd be eating cold food. I, can, uh, I want showers. I want showers. So you'd be you taking hot showers? Because I, I eat cold food all the time. So you'd be taking cold showers for the rest of your life? No, I want hot showers. Oh, okay. So you'd be eating cold food for the rest of your life? Yeah, I don't mind it. Yeah. Okay, I said hot. I'll take warm food. Okay. That's not hot. <laughs> well, that's relative. <laughs> right. Yeah, honestly, you I, know, I, I know what it means. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to... <laughs> I'm just trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to... Such a bitch ass. But I, I'd rather take the hot showers. Um. Yeah, same. We all have the same answer on that. How we yeah. Okay, would you rather answer yes to every question or answer no to every question? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, Paul? I think I'll say no. But then you wouldn't do anything at all. Unless there's a certain way about going about it. Paul, do you want to eat? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're starving today. <laughs> I feel like they just go, yeah, 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 and then I'll go do whatever I want. That's a good point. Uh, you just have to say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, would you rather be CEO of a small company or be a, a low level employee in the best company in the world? A CEO or the low, what? I think I'd rather be the CEO. So I'd rather be CEO. Be CEO of a small company? Honestly, oh, same. Yeah. CEO. I fucking hate my coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People with the low, like, at the low, like assembly lines or whatever. Like, let me tell you about something about factory film. Let me tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what's happening, bro. Factories fucking suck. Mm-hmm. It sucks. You know what? I can see why people turn into Marxists. Straight up. Shit. Straight up. I can see yeah, how dude. communism fucking pops up. Because yeah. it's like, fuck you. <laughs> I, no, no. All right, yeah, next would you rather be hairy all over or be completely bald? I think I'd rather be completely bald. So. I'd rather be hairy. Why? So I'm a Bigfoot bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but with being that hairy comes some weird ass smells. And oh. feelings. Imagine all that hair on your butt crack. Oh. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna be hairy. I'm a wild <laughs> 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 I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> <What>, bitch. <laughs> I think that. PC is about to die. I was looking at it. It says your battery's low. Oh, you were looking at it just waiting for it to die. You're lucky. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to burn this whole shit. <laughs> oh, that's some controversial shit. Maybe oh, I should. It's not charging. Now it is. Thank you, oh. oh, yours wasn't charging either. Or my Ooh. thing. Yeah, oh, it was. That, that was. Oh. It's just that one. <laughs> Holy cow. Thank you, Pablo. <laughs> Imagine we lost the footage. Bro, that it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> had some struggles. Let, let's do five more. <laughs> okay. Would you rather forget who you are or forget who anyone else is? Everyone else is. Forget who I am or forget who other people are? Mm-hmm. I'd rather know who I am. I agree. Oh, I don't know. I don't care about other people. <laughs> not me not to be like that, but it's like... Look shit, Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's like, you can learn to learn other people. Like, you can like... Figure out who other people are all over again. That could be its own experience. But figure out who you are and who your past is is like fuck. Wait, I thought that's what you said. 
No, I said I rather know who I am. Oh, oh, and forget others. And forget okay, others. same. Because there's an experience in that, you know? Mm. And, but he's, he's like, who am I? I'm 23? Mm. What have I been doing for 23 years? <laughs> right, but then you can be Captain America. <laughs> Shut up. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't forget who he was. <laughs> Yeah, no. no <laughs> anyway, next like, question. <laughs> this question is probably. I think we're all gonna have the same answer. Uh, would you rather be best friends with a celebrity or have your dream job? Dream job. Yeah, so... right, yeah. Would you rather have long curly hair or have short straight hair? I'm cool with being bald. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. This. I think I do long Man, curly hair. Ball. <laughs> because I've been trying to grow my hair, but certain people won't let me. And I, tea, I, I, I don't, don't, don't want to go through the, the growing uh, of dude, the hair. If you look at our Tennessee trip pictures, bro, with my hair and hot, yeah. <laughs> plus I got like a the, the uh, what do you call it? Your head shape? No, uh, yeah, my decreasing hairline. Oh, so okay. if I pull my hair back when it's long, dude, why do you think I'm going bald? <laughs> but you, you're, uh, you're you're pretty intense, though. Though. Come on, son. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> <just> pretty intense, <laughs> though. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Two more. Uh, would you rather be feared by all or be loved by all? I did look like a cholo though when I did that filter bulb. I have a goatee. You did. You, did. <laughs> you see the video? <laughs> I think I'd rather be loved by all. Be loved by what all. Was the other, what was the choice? Uh, be feared by all or be loved by all? Be loved. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Sorry, it's a free app, so there's an ad. Come for the next one. All right. All right. <laughs> so just an uh, awkward uh, okay, break. Okay. <laughs> okay, last one. Would you it's, rather get one year without brushing your teeth or get a tattoo the size the size of a quarter uh, of your face? I'm sorry. Wait, what? The size of a quarter of your face? That's what it says. Get so tattoo. anywhere on my body? As long as it's like it, it's the size. Of, this man yeah. can't read. But that's what it says. <laughs> I got to read the level of a third grader. <laughs> I think I saw I saw a post like that by the way. It was just like if you want to figure out who your boyfriend or fiance or husband is, give him a book and have him read have him read it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I don't know which one I would go with. I don't know. I forgot. So go one year without brushing your teeth, or get a tattoo uh, that has that's the size of a quarter of your face. So on your my fa- face, your face or the tattoo? size of a wherever on your face, just the size of a quarter of your face. Tattoo of a quarter. So a quarter like a money quarter? No. So a fourth <laughs> of your face, that size. That's uh, Isn't that what a tattoo already is, kind of, for the most part? But does it have to go on your face, or can I put it anywhere on anywhere. my body? Anywhere? Yes. I get the tattoo then. I get the tattoo yeah, on same. my ass cheek. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to look at it. <laughs> All right. Well, That's real quick, I wanted to uh, oh. give you a present. Oh, shit. What? Yeah, as a... Oh! <laughs> is it what I think it is? <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think Kayla knows what it is. This <laughs> 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 is for you. <laughs> Get paid, it. Yeah, open Why it and show I the open? pod. So I've had this for a year, and I basically took it from them. Yeah. So. Cards Against Humanity. It was just that one, right? Okay. Yeah, this whole time, yeah. I, I had a memory yeah. of having two, you know, and I was. She tripping. bothered me forever for this. You can get public and give me my cards. Uh, you never hit me up for a year, and I never told I, you. Because <laughs> I figured, even if I asked you, "Hey man, can you give me my cards back?" It's like, all right. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I've gone off here once or twice within the year, and you don't come and see us, bro. I go for like. <laughs> Listen, bro. I don't go see my family. I'll go see my family later, guys. <laughs> 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 it's been the PG uh, yeah, talk. Yeah, that was what the 12th episode. Yeah, yeah. Like, subscribe. See you guys later. Peace. Check out his YouTube stuff. Maybe. <laughs>